So today we're going to be diving into Craft. We're going to be exploring the brand new templates that are available inside of Craft and give you an idea of some of the more recent updates they've been announcing. Now, today's video is kindly sponsored by Clockwise. Here's a little bit more about them. So this month's sponsor is Clockwise. Clockwise are doing some really interesting stuff in the market right now with artificial intelligence. And for those who are new to Clockwise, it's a smarter way to schedule that works for teams. Now, flexible meetings are a great feature allowing you to move meetings using AI to work for everyone and create blocks of time that are free in your day. Now, flexible meetings and clockwise help one-to-ones and find the most efficient time and fix conflicts. And you can choose which meetings are flexible and set preferences for how flexible they are. Now, clockwise actually state they run up to 1 million calendar permutations per team to create the best possible schedule for everyone. Imagine a supercomputer playing Tetris to put flexible meetings into the best possible place based on your preferences. We do that every day to unlock time and help foster a healthier way of work. Now, there's also focus time. It's another experience in Clockwise helping you to set a goal for focus time every week. As you can know, this can be a huge lifesaver to those deep focus sessions during the work week. And Clockwise will block any two plus hour slot in your calendar as focus time and even help quiet the noise by snoozing notifications in Slack and keeping you in task by syncing with Asana. Now, over 10,000 organizations run on Clockwise, including Reddit, Atlassian, Pinterest, and Netflix, and it's great to have them on as a sponsor. You can check out the link in the description below. So, Craft has been fairly busy recently, introducing a whole host of features, and it's something that I've annoyingly not covered here on Keep Productive Enough. But they've had a multitude of updates, including the likes of Templates, Teams, and Craft X. And in today's video, something that a lot of you requested is to cover some of what these mean for the application and where I think it's going to be heading in the future. So I wanted to start with the custom templates. This is a new addition that is very much like Notion, like many of the other applications that provide you the ability to create a very simple replicate or duplicate that you can use on a routine time, very much like how most templates work in other applications. But with Craft, they go that step further. And I think because of how well this application works, it just looks fantastic and it works really well. So for example, if you use this for daily journaling, you could create a daily journal template and then be able to replicate it every single time you create a daily note. Or let's say you have a regular agenda and meeting. This is something you can copy and paste for the next one. Now, as you can imagine, you can access this using the slash command. If you press slash command, you'll be able to insert the template. So in a way, they sort of operate as in documents, very similar to how Coda have operated theirs. Now, obviously, you're unable to do some of the more advanced stuff like databases. But for documents, this is fantastic as a time saver to help reduce replication inside of your account. Now, I'm really excited to start digging into a little bit of the templates. We've been using Craft quite a lot recently, especially with Bento and Keep Productive. We've been starting to do a lot of planning in there, and I am really looking forward to seeing whether this saves us a bit of time. I never knew half of the features that were really in Craft until I really got stuck in, in using it. And even the likes of Robin in the Bento team has been really sort of pushing the limits with it in terms of setups and things like that. Now, another update that they posted a little bit of time ago now is the Craft Team update. And this was in the 2.1 version released just after Valentine's Day. And with this team edition, they're trying to target freelancers, small teams and squads, small or medium sized companies, and to be able to help you manage that experience with team administration and members and guests. Now, with this account, you can create a team and they're set inside of your spaces. This is something we've done with Bento. You can add as many people as you like, but they recommend to use it with five or more people. And you can also invite your clients too. Now, in terms of inviting external collaborators, they say you can invite up to five guests per workspace. 
Although guests won't see any other part of your team, but they'll be able to edit and comment on every document in that space. Now this can all be managed through the new admin site and you can create a team there. You can invite members and handle seat management capabilities with in terms of payments. And you can also plan your invoices and really how many seats and canceling subscriptions, all the stuff you'd expect. So they've also updated in that update the shared spaces ability. So for example, in the same time as team plan, they're also making a major update to shared spaces, allowing you to add up to five guests to your shared spaces. And if you're a pro user, everybody in the shared space also gets to be a pro too. So that's a huge advantage, especially when sharing it with small groups or friends and families. So with a single pro subscription, everyone enjoys the benefits of the pro tier. So in that, um, Craft has updated their pricing. And as you can imagine, it, it's still free, personal pro and business plans. Now with each plan, you do get sort of, I, I guess, a varying uh, abilities. So for example, in the free plan, you're still stuck to a thousand blocks with one gigabytes of storage. Inside of the personal pro plan, you get up to 50 gig of storage. It doesn't actually state whether you get more blocks. I'm not actually sure about that, but I assume you get unlimited blocks with 50 gigs of storage. And in the business plan, which is targeted towards freelancers and businesses, you can get $10 per month if billed annually. And as you can imagine, 100 gigs of storage per member and unlimited team members too. So Craft has really modified their experience. And another layer of that is something called Craft X, which is an extensions platform that Craft recently had re been releasing, but they've really seemed to build their developer, amount of developers that they're building using this platform. Essentially, they've got a few applications that sort of have demonstrated on it, like Hacker News is a good example of that. Ability to be able to see your Hacker News and the top 10 articles right now inside of your craft documents. And you can even insert the stories as blocks in the craft document. Now the developer preview is still ongoing. And to be honest, I think this might be a really untouched market. I think that craft is in the next couple of years going to become a really big part of productivity applications. And just in the way that they've built the iOS Mac applications and how they're really developing on the web version, I think it's going to be a huge opportunity for developers building additional applications. But I do hope to see it challenge more of documents market versus trying to chase Notion in the next couple of years. Now, as you can imagine, extensions will be a big part of that. And I hope to see new updates soon in terms of extensions and what they'll actually, whether they'll do a marketplace or something like that. But it's really judging to see whether uh, that extensions market is big enough for them to be able to do that. So hopefully you found today's video useful. This overviewed Craft's latest updates. Let me know in the comments below whether you've been experiencing them. I know I've been using them with Bento and it's been really exciting. So let me know if you have any questions, comments, and feel free to share them below. Anyway, folks, make sure to subscribe, check out Clockwise, and I'll talk to you all very, very soon. Cheerio.